Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining how by removing weight you increase the acceleration of your car. Now I'm not going to explain how to remove weight from your car, I'm going to be explaining how removing weight makes you accelerate quicker. So, uh, because I had a little dilemma with this video since uh, the majority of my viewers are from the United States so they use terrible units and then uh, the rest of the world uses intelligent units. So I decided, you know what, I'll just make two videos. Uh, one for those who use intelligent units and one for those who are stuck in the terrible uh, unit system that has been developed uh, for us in the Americas. So, uh, what we've got going on here, we're going to use a car with uh, 1,000 kilogram mass. It's going to be producing a constant 100 newton meters of torque across the entire rev range. I know that's not possible. Well, I mean, I guess it could be somehow if you did weird things. But point is, just to simplify it, it's just going to have 100 newton meters of torque across the entire rev range. Uh, it's going to have a 6 to 1 final gear ratio, so that means uh, it could have a 3 to 1 first gear and a 2 to 1 differential. So we've got a 6 to 1 uh, gear ratio going to uh, the output drive shaft to the wheels. And then the last important thing is a 0.3 meter radius uh, wheels, the driving wheels. Okay, so our friend Newton developed this uh, theory, F equals MA. So force equals mass times acceleration. If we want to find out the change in acceleration with the change in mass, we've got to find acceleration. Acceleration equals force over mass. Great. Step two is find the torque at the wheels. Now this is very simple, all we have to do is multiply the torque created by the engine by the gear ratio. So we've got 100 newton meters, we're multiplying that by uh, 6 for our gear ratio, and we'll have 600 newton meters uh, sent to those uh, rear tires, or driven tires. So, what is the force that the tires are putting down on the ground? Well, we know that torque is equal to force times distance. So we know the torque going to the rear wheels is 600 newton meters. We don't know the force, but we know the distance. The distance is going to be the uh, distance from the center of the tire to the, uh, where the tire is touching the ground. So the radius of the tire, 0.3 meters. So 600 newton meters divided by 0.3 gives us a 2,000 newton force that's going to be applied to those wheels. Great, so now we know force and mass. So we can find out acceleration. Acceleration equals force over mass. 2,000 newtons divided by 1,000 kilograms. Newtons are in units of kilogram per meter sec kilogram times meters per second squared. So when you divide that out, you get an acceleration of 2 meters per second squared. That's roughly about uh, 0.2 g's. So you take that 2 meters per second squared. Now we want to find uh, our speed, the, the time it takes to get to 100 kilometers per hour. I know all of you guys out in Europe and the rest of the world, you know, you're trying to impress your friends with how quickly you can get to 100 kilometers per hour. So, uh, we've got velocity equals acceleration times time. We know our velocity, we want it to be 100 kilometers per hour. Per hour, we know that uh, our acceleration is going to be 2 meters per second squared. All we need to do is divide the two and we can get the time. So we have to convert uh, 1,000 kilometers per hour to uh, meters per second. And luckily with the metric system, that's very easy. Multiply by 1,000, divide by 3,600. You get 27.78 meters per second divided by 2.2 uh, meters per second squared. And that gives you an acceleration of 0 to 100 kilometers per hour in 13.9 seconds. Now, let's say we took out 250 kilograms uh, from that car. I don't know how we did it. Maybe we cut off... Uh, the roof completely, and that's how we did it, but point is we took out some weight. So we've got 2,000 newtons divided by 750 kilograms. That's going to give us 2.66 meters per second squared. So when we come here and we do our uh, part B5 again, so we've got our uh, acceleration. We, we want to get to a 100 kilometers per hour, 27.78 meters per second. So divide that by 2.66 just like we did before, and that gives us an acceleration time of 10.4 seconds to get to 100 kilometers per hour. So, by removing 250 kilograms, we increased our acceleration by 3.5 seconds, the, the time it took 
uh, to get to 100 kilometers per hour was increased by 3.5 seconds. That's pretty impressive and it shows you why reducing weight in vehicles is so important if you want good acceleration. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, just leave them below.